Oh, Ding Dong the Witch from Utah is dead. Mitt Romney is not going to seek re-election in 2024, and he can go ahead and carpet bag himself back to Massachusetts, and he can just call it a career. A career loser just like his father. The apple doesn't fall far from the rotten tree, and now he can just go resign himself to whatever his next doomed endeavor is likely to be. Mitt Romney to retire from U.S. Senate after a wild ride through the Republican politics. Hi, I ran for president once you remember i got the endorsements the likes of the entire crew that's over at the daily wire all of those other never trumpers thought that i would have been such a great president in 2012 pu just goes to show that those guys' political instincts that they didn't just get screwed up by trump they've always been trash U.S. Senator Mitt Romney will not seek re-election in 2012, capping a roller coaster ride through the Republican politics at the height of his party's 2012 presidential nomination to the depths of the tribal warfare in the age of Donald Trump. Yeah, exactly. And guess who came out the other side looking much better than stupid old mittens? Mm, casting aside the hopes and appeals of colleagues, uh, including Senator Republican leader uh, Mitch McConnell. Oh yeah, the one thing, one thing that I'll give Mitt Romney on this one is he's 76 years old he's still fairly old but at least he knows to bow out before he starts having mini strokes holding on to the podium just staring off into the middle of nowhere without being able to answer a question he's at least going to go ahead and retire because he, everybody kind of knows that he peaked and just lingering around the senate for another decade and change well you do get Partial marks for that, not full points. He said on Wednesday he would retire as a one-term senator when uh, his term ends in early 2025. Yep, January, January 21st, 2025. Get the fuck out. Rather than seek another six years among a dwindling number of Republican moderates, rhinos, rhinos in Congress. Romney stood out within the caucus as a rare critic of former tr President Trump. Oh my God, a rare critic. Yeah, fuck you, Reuters. Uh, but his decision to retire effectively surrenders his Utah Senate seat to a successor that could be more closely aligned with Trump and hardline conservative politics in the state's other U.S. senator. Yeah, it's so crazy that it was Mitt Romney on one side and then you had based Mike Lee as your other senator from the state. That's wild to think about. Being a Mormon, being a Mormon in Utah carries a lot of weight. Uh, Romney nonetheless says he believes that it's time to say goodnight. At the end of another term, I'd be in my mid 80s. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be like Diane Feinstein or you know like Mitch McConnell. Uh, frankly, it's time for a new generation of leaders. Well, I'm not running for re-election. I'm not retiring from the fight. Yeah, there was some idea that he was going to be running on this uh, non-labeled. You know, grab another moderate quote-unquote moderate from the left and then just run for president and just some other failing campaign this time around i don't know man just go just go away you've got enough donor money i'm sure you can go work at a think tank until you're just good and done but just fuck off nobody wants anything that you care to gleam in the realm of politics just go back and iron your magic underwear and fuck off uh, the son of former Michigan governor, auto industry executive, and 1968 Republican presidential candidate, Romney became a multi-millionaire in the private equity business and served as Massachusetts governor before mounting an unsuccessful challenge. Yeah, oh man, for as much as his failing brings me joy, it was against Barack Obama, so, oh God. If nobody could have won that, if we could have just got Ron Paul, why couldn't we get Ron Paul as a Republican Party presidential nominee in 2012? As U.S. Senator since 2019, he has been an outspoken critic of Democratic President Joe Biden. Has he, though? Has he? Oh, well, we work together. Because Mitt Romney was always the guy that ended up getting cited by Joe Biden. As I work on both sides of the aisle, man. I, I, I have this, I have this package, and uh, Mitt Romney always wants to sign my package, and we work well together, man. So yeah, to say that he's an outspoken critic, yeah, I don't really know if that all lines up. With Trump dominating the 2024 Republican presidential field, ah shucks. Romney has faced powerful headwinds at home in solidly Republican Utah. Desert News poll in June showed that 47% of Republicans saying that Trump best represented them compared to 39% who favored Romney. Yo, that fucking sucks. Uh, Romney was the only Republican senator to vote to commit to Trump at both his Senate impeachment trials. Yeah, because he's a bitch seeking younger voters. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. I don't really care what a fucking diminishing old hag has to say is he just, you know, skulks out of office. 
Like the fucking loser that he is. Who's going to take over for him? That's what I want to know. Retirement spares Romney from joining in at what would have been a competitive primary if he had run again. Yeah, he does want to end up getting the Liz Cheney treatment. He does want to go out like as big of an embarrassment as his old man. Although a Brad Wilson, the Utah State House Representative Speaker, has not declared his candidacy for Romney's seat, I'm sure we're probably going to have some people start to line up here very shortly. He has raised about $2.2 million through his exploratory committee, including more than a million dollars from individual donors and boasts a slew of endorsement from state lawmakers. Riverton Mayor Trent Skaggs, a Trump supporter, has already declared his candidacy. Okay, others, including former U.S. Representative Jason Chaffetz, has also seen as a potential can er, contender for the Republican nomination. McConnell, who has put a premium on Senate candidate quality in the 2024 election campaign. I don't care what that fucking stroke fit victim has to say about anybody coming through or oh, i'm gonna look over the party for the next two months i'm gonna be loose enough to continue my job had urged romney to seek re-election yeah of course you know a rhino wants company you know that they're not strong enough to travel alone they need to roam in packs but Romney had shown little interest in backing away from the long-standing criticism of Trump as a candidate driven by revenge and ego, says the dumb fuck who ended up getting BTFO'd in 2012. No, I'll just take a lesser position because you are bitch fucking made, my dude. When I seen this news pop up not long after it was announced, this was the happiest I had been to see a rhino get scalped since the final update from John McCain. Like, this brought me an immense amount of happiness because, yeah... He's right. He, he is a little bit right about needing a younger voters seeking a new generation. All of these Bushite conservatives, all of these fucking neocon warmongers, you're out. Your time is done. You fucked everything up. You blew your wad with the George W. Bush presidency, and nobody wants to return to that. Ever. It's done. It's dusted. Just like you and your political career. Just go be a loser somewhere else. But yeah, bring younger people into politics? Exactly. And we need to be able to suss out a better candidates because that was okay there were some problems in 2022 with the midterms obviously i think we can all take a look at that some of the quality candidates uh, some of the quality of the candidates that were up there weren't all that great let's let's keep it a buck and somebody who it looked very very touch and go when it came to re-election was lauren bobert who is now at least from what i can see oh she's doing her trad thought pivot Okay, because earlier this year she announced, yeah, after after about 18 years of marriage, I'm just going to go ahead and, like, not be married anymore, and I'm just going to go fuck a local bar owner. What the fuck, man? She's beginning her pivot, okay, because she, she's getting all this attention in Congress, you know, it raised her profile, and people are simping over this. Six, let's call it what it is. Like, she's the second coming. But in actuality, she's just a simple clout goblin. Because you remember when she first announced her candidacy to run in Colorado and for the House of Representatives, where did she get all of her fame from? Oh, I was the woman who confronted Beto O'Rourke about assault rifles in Texas. She does it all for the gram. And just because she's got a decent set of tits and are definitely propped up in that cocktail dress, that does not make a good lawmaker see every Democrat from the squad for proof of concept on that one. Republican, or I'm sorry, well, she is a Republican, I guess, and Representative Lauren Boebert's mystery man is a Democrat who owns a Colorado bar. Well, from what event are we talking about right here? A mystery man who was booted from a Denver theater Sunday night, along with Colorado Republican Representative Lauren Boebert for disrupting a performance as a Democrat who owns a bar in Aspen, a sport or a source confirmed at the Post. Quinn Gallagher, 46, was Boebert's covert date to see Beetlejuice the musical. Oh, I thought it was Beetlejuice, the uh, life and times of Lori Lightfoot, at the Temple Hoyne Buell Theater, where both were later kicked out following complaints about vaping, loudly singing, and taking pictures during the show. Fucking gross, man. Colorado native is a co-owner of Hoochcraft Cocktail Bar in Aspen, which opened with partners uh, Pat Flanagan in April of 2016, according to the Aspen Times. The divorced father of one apparently scandalized his Democratic-leaning family members by spending the evening with the firebrand Republican, who will, if this ends up working out, do her, tra her 
to her conserve a thought pivot to all of a sudden oh no there's just so much problem with the establishment republicans that are out there and oh just how mean they were when i got divorced and i just wanted to be free and now i'm just not going to be conservative i'm just going to come back and i'm going to be a moderate see the lauren southern strategy something cursed about trad cut her trad thoughts the name lauren strange strange coincidence i guess who had apparently been dating for months without their knowledge wow it wasn't that long ago that she announced that she was getting divorced. Anyways, it's been very surprising. I always thought that Quinn was a cool guy and a Democrat. Well, those things aren't normally consistent unless you're talking about a gay bar owner and that's a, one of the patrons you're talking to. His parents would be horrified because they are definitely blue. Yuck. Yeah, if you were to ask me what is the political affiliation of these three guys... Yeah, without a second thought. The outlet uh, also obtained divorce records showing that Gallagher married Al... Uh, Al Alisi, Alexander, uh, some bitch in 26 or 2006, and the couple ran the now defunct Mona Bistro and Lounge in Seattle before their split in 2013. Bobert, 36, was once the owner of her own establishment, Shooter's Grill and Rifle, Colorado, where she was often seen serving customers with a nine millimeter host or holstered in her belt. Yeah. Oh, a chick that worked at a bar. Fantastic. Uh, the business closed in July of 2022 after her landlord ended her lease. Grandmother, one of the uh, mother of four boys, uh, caused at least three disturbances uh, with Gallagher before being confronted by ushers, according to the theater incident report obtained by the Post Theater employees. This is back to when they both got kicked out and they're wondering, uh, who the fuck is she palling around with? And yo, that dude looks more and more like Anthony Weiner the more that I see him. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, the theater employee threatened to call the police and the couple couple slunk out of the auditorium and briefly confronted theater employees in the lobby with a Bobert in a low-cut gold dress waving her finger and making threats. Do you know who I am? Just, oh god, insufferable. Just the hot chick. Okay, because yeah, you know, at least wherever she's at, okay? She's probably going to be in the upper echelon of attractive women until she goes to a bigger city and then she's just, you know, a Colorado 5. But she's trying to throw around her power. Do you know who I am? I... I'm a relevant hussy from Washington. Am I supposed to care about what you what you're doing out here? You're causing a ruckus for the people that probably paid to get in here instead of just your vaping, screaming, hooching ass. Like the fuck, does anybody care? No, get the fuck out. But yeah, she can get away with that stuff because, well, she's probably insulated by a whole host of trad cucks. I'll just go ahead and say, no, nah, bro, she's one of the good ones. She's a Trump supporter. That means that we need to back our girls. Nah, man. I haven't seen her do anything in Congress, and I've been following this stuff for as long as she's been around. I've seen her grandstand on a bunch of topics, like a bunch of other Republicans that are out there, but never really do anything of substance other than raise her own profile. Do you know who I am? She reportedly said, warning them that she was on the board of the Denver Center for Performing Arts and would contact Democratic Mayor Mike Johnston. Fantastic. She was going to go talk to the manager and then the mayor because I have that power. You can't throw me out. I'm throwing myself out. Bobert and Gallagher were then escorted outside the venue by security and to Denver police officers and walked ha walked away hand in hand, according to the incident report. The mayor's office told the Post the congresswoman never followed up with them. A city representative also confirmed that Bobert does not serve on any city of Denver's cultural commissions. Yeah. She was probably drunk. She was obviously being entitled. And yeah, if they've been dating for months, like it says right there, filed for divorce in May from her husband of 18 years, citing irre irreconcilable differences. Uh, he didn't want to go get drunk and act out at a musical like this guy does. Months and months. They've been dating for months and months. Here's another uncomfortable truth, regardless if she's, uh, she claims to be a good Christian girl and she has conservative values. All of those women, every single one of them, have a backup plan. Not just a backup plan, multiple backup plans. So yeah, I would imagine eh, you're probably going to hear that uh, she's not going to be seeking re-election because uh, she got the best that she can out of the high-ranking positions. And then she can just go back and rest on her laurels and then cash in on the rest of her 30s in order to find the most well-to-do simp to take care of her in her golden years because she's already got the golden dress so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone